Good morning and welcome to Beardman's Toys TV and today I'm going to do a very simple review and unboxing of the Hot Toys Hot Ice Deluxe versions MMS 532 Okay, before I start on this Hot Toys unbox and review, right? I would like to apologize for the uh, slightly not so good video that I did on the uh, War Machines Mark 6 few days back So what happened is uh, I'm actually doing a video at 3 a.m. in the morning when my children is asleep So at that point of time, right? When I talk, I cannot talk loudly because they are sleeping downstairs so I need to talk softly And number two, right? What happened is uh, It's 3 a.m. in the morning I'm very excited to open the box And to see what is inside the box But again That's what I want to do But When I want to explain or when I want to review about the uh, uh, Figure itself, right? I feel very tired Mentally So a lot of things I miss out And uh, even the videos when I was taking the videos, right, but there's a lot of shakings happen around. I was actually very much to, uh, to myself, right, I wanted to do the whole thing, the whole video again. But as the concept of BMS Toys TV is one shot, even though I have some silence in between, I won't I, I won't re-record again, I won't redo the video again. So because of that, uh Things that I insist, right? So I decided, yes, that's a video that I did at the point of time. I will just upload it. It doesn't matter whether the view is a lot or less. Uh, don't really bother me. So after that, let's oh no, after that, no. Now let's start the uh, Hawk Eyes uh, unboxing and review. So first of all, let's talk about the box, the art box itself. There's no brown box uh, coming together with this guy. It's just a pure art box. First of all, let's talk about the box Okay, what you can see in front of the box is basically Ronin I don't call him Hot Eyes, I call him Ronin Because at the point when he's wearing this particular costume, right? He was known as Ronin and not Hot Eyes So for me, it's very illogical for Hot Toys To put this face in But, and show this, the name Hot Eyes there so it, it doesn't really gel. This is Ronin. So for me personally, Hot Toys should stick Ronin rather than Hot Eyes. Leave your comment if you think I'm wrong, but this is personally what I feel. And number two, if you look at the uh, the box art box itself, right? It is the standard design of the current Endgame series, where you have an Avengers A series logo over here. So I was comparing with the uh, one with four machines, right? They actually have a reflections uh, things built onto the A, but there's none for this version, which is okay. This doesn't really bother me. And another thing is, if you look at the eyes of uh, Jeremy, basically AKA Hawk Eyes, I don't really see much similarity with the actual person. This is again what I think only like. So, this is the art box. Next, this is what is displayed at the side of the art box. The logos of uh, Hawk Eyes or even Warnings. And then Avenger logo. And then the, the words Hawk Eyes there. Which for me, again, I want to emphasize it should be Warning. And then this is Hawk Eyes. Details, oh no, the, the details at the back. The warning sign, you know, the disclaimer, all those stuff. And then again, the same things at the other side showing the logos, Avengers logo, and the uh, Hawk Eyes logos, plus the details of uh, these particular figures. So let's do the uh, unboxing. First of all, as usual, you remove the box this way, as per normal Hot Toy box is. Number two, you do the unboxing. Okay, just cut here. Okay, I turned it upside down, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let me just remove this from the box. Yeah. Okay, let's put it 
put at one side. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Okay, on this box itself, right? Wow, a lot of accessory, a lot, a lot of accessory. So maybe because I'm comparing with a wall machine, which I just opened a few days back, uh, there's only like a, a gun uh, plus some hands. So other than that, I mean hands, it come with at least single figures. So that particular wall machines have the least accessory uh, warm, uh, uh, compared to the other war machines Then suddenly when you look at this right It was wow So many accessories You know you have the uh, running shirts uh, You have the, uh, the All the protector gear All the arrows the Accessories The figures There's so many things that come together With this particular deluxe box of hot eyes So Let's just Slowly remove them one by one from the box itself. Okay, as usual, just remove the box like this, and then uh, this is basically the the Ronin shirts. Let me just hold on the material first. I think one thing I want to really see on the material is whether they are leather or not. They are not. It's cloth. It's actually cloth material, so this is quite safe. Very safe, so you don't have to worry that you know it will get wear off after certain time frame. It's a quite, a, quite a safe product to play with. This is the uh, shirts. Let me just put it down. Next is basically the accessory. You have all the different arrow accessory here. Just let me put it down as well. There's some. This is used by ninjas or what they call it, uh, not the duck. But anyway, if I recall the the words, I will I will mention it again. And then the uh, the sword, the sh short sword, and then this is basically the holder for the sh the the the, the, the uh, sword or the arrow. You, you can you use it for both. And then you have the uh, uh, figures. Hold on, before I take the figures out, because it's blocking the. Wow! Oh, you can't actually remove it that way. So, okay, let me just remove this one first. Uh, okay, then you guys have a look. So, all the arrows, right, is placed inside the box. So, unlike this that you can remove out, right, this one is maintained inside the box. So, it's covered like this. And then you just remove it out, as per usual. Boom. Okay, and this is the additional hand. It comes with additional two pair of hand. One is basically the... Uh, the sort of like holding this is the holding sword hand this is the arrow hand this is the arrow hand again and this is like the holding arrow hand maybe and this is basically the uh, the, uh, the items that they wear from doing the time machine traveling which they have in both of the hands uh, I might not be using this because I would prefer to create the uh, Ronin feel so during the running field, the, uh, the time machine scenes is actually not there yet. So I'll be doing the running scenes. Okay, let me just remove these uh, uh, figures first. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the head scalp. This is the head scalp, the additional head scalp. Let's look at the eyes. If I look at the eyes over here, right, compared to the box, right, I think this one look much better. Look much better. I Me, mean, you know, these items have been around for quite a while, and I've been listening listening to a lot of comments over the internet whereby they say that hey, this guy is actually the face head scalp is actually not that much the same as per compared to the previous models, which I don't really agree, you know. Because, you know, uh, when Avengers started, right, Jeremy is still very, very young. I mean, he's still very young in a way, la. <laughs> I mean, uh, almost same age with me. But anyway, uh, uh, anyway, if you look at the, uh, the, the Jeremy from the uh, Endgame movie, right, he's actually getting much older. And he has a very nice hairstyle, you know, as compared to the previous uh, movies. 
This one here has a very nice hairstyle. So if you look at the head scalp itself, you know, uh, this round here has a very nice hairstyle. And basically, my current hairstyle is following Jeremy hairstyle as well. Uh, even though I don't really um, gel my hair, but this is how my hairstyle look like as well. <laughs> so I'm actually um, uh, very much enjoy um, uh, these figures and also the characters because uh, uh, number one, because I was attracted by the hairstyle. I was pretty much attracted by this hairstyle. Okay, let me just remove the figures out. Um, let me just put everything on the tables and let you guys see overall what is actually available. As for the stand, it's the standard stand whereby you have the half mated finish and half gloss, uh, the gloss fillings of the A and the mated uh, fillings for the uh, for the, uh, the rest of the uh, parts of the base. So this is the standard Avenger base with the logo of course of uh, Hot Eyes. So, and again, it show hot eyes. How come hot eyes? Please, you need to change it to Ronin, else the story. And it, it doesn't. This this one actually bothered me a lot. You know, this one actually bothered me a lot. Hot toys, can you do something? Or else I need to find a way to to print a sticker and stick it back over here and put it Ronin. Would that be a better option rather than complaining to hot toys? <laughs> I think so because doing that. It will just be less than 10 minutes kind of work you know, And then you have something that suits to your taste Okay The arrow The bow, sorry the bow And then you have a lot of arrows Okay, let's have a look In general huh? What we have over here We have the bows We have the, a lot of accessories The bow accessory The uh, The, the uh, uh, Sword accessory, the sh the shirt, additional shirt you, which you can remove here, and then the the bow. So you have the long bow. You also have the short bow. So basically, the long bow will be to hold on your hand, and the short bow will be to be put on the uh, the bow bags at the back. I'm not sure whether that you call it as a bow bag, but um, you're supposed to put it there. So let me just remove whatever I can remove here. Okay, short bows. There's a total of four long bows and a total of uh, six short bows. And um, this is basically the bows bag. So let me see how to put it in. I think there's no mechanism to put it in like the previous uh, hot ice. So hot ice previously you can actually slot it. And it will move and this one is like like that it will move and then you can't put the long one in because the long one look very weird so the long one is supposed to hold on the hand the short one is supposed to be put inside uh, as accessory so this is basically the bags the bows you have as I mentioned there's six short bows and four long bows uh, and then the uh, sorry not bow, arrows <laughs> And then it, this is the bows What happened to me today? Hey, 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 hey Wake up, man Okay uh, I think this is basically it This is basically the accessory That come together with uh, uh, um, Ronin So, let's see Okay Let's look at the figure first uh, Let me try to remove Oh, this is a bit tight Okay, uh, this one is loose I mean, lately, right, I found that Hot Toys uh, somehow uh, did a very different jobs compared to uh, they used to do. I mean, last time when I started buying Hot Toys figures, right, I mean, MISP, those new ones, right, all the uh, plastic is very hard to remove, just like this one. It's not simple to remove. But nowadays, right, some of them are very, I mean, some part is very easily to be removed. I mean, you know, so this one is hard. I mean, this one, the hand, I just slot it up like that. So this one is a bit... Difficult. So this is some changes on, on on hot toys. If you look in, I mean, if you look into how they actually wrap the figures, uh, you know, I start collecting since few years back. So so this is are uh, some small details that I found. I mean, lately I found that their 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 plastic right is not wrapped so tight, but not for all. I mean, some part they are still tight, but some part is actually a bit loosened up. Okay, let's look at the figure itself. 
Okay, let me just hold the figure and talk a little bit. Ooh, up. Okay, so this is Mr. Jeremy, aka Hawkeyes, aka Mr. Ronin. So, uh, basically, the character is a bit special, whereby you know, Hawkeyes, the core are using arrows, whereby the um, the uh, Ronin they are using sword. Oh, okay, I'm able to remove it. Okay, so so this is. This is the uh, hawk eyes uh, uh, costume, whereby this one is supposed to be the uh, Ronin costumes. So let's look at the uh, head scalps for Mr. Jeremy first. A nearer look at it. So I like the uh, color tones. I mean, lately Hot Toys been doing a very good job on the color tones of the face. If you look at it, you know. You can see some you know, some tones in terms of the same color, and if you look closely enough, right, there are some wrinkles on the head, a small little wrinkles, which is doing quite well. I mean, in the movie, you can see Mr. Jeremy wrinkles quite a fair bit if you're using 4K 4K uh, TV, uh, and then the hair style is actually quite nice. And don't you think? do you guys think so? The hair style look very nice. Uh, I like this hairstyle a lot, that's why I do my hair the same way as well. Okay, uh, as far as the head scalp is concerned, right, if you ask me the accuracy, I would say that it's to the movie, right, especially Endgame, I would say the accuracy is at, at least at 85% or 80%. You know? I don't understand why people say it's not accurate. Lah. Well, of course, if you're referring to the one I have over there if you are, it's a bit well let me just go there so if you if you look at this guy right of course people say this one look a bit more accurate but again uh, he's wearing a spec you can't see the eyeball so when you cannot see the eyeball right um, the accuracy is actually sort of hidden so for me this is actually it, it, this is actually pretty good already if you look at it this is actually pretty pretty good already and pretty decent you know um, if you look at the current endgame version especially on uh, black widows and uh, and uh, hawk eyes right these two figures is actually pretty good in terms of the uh, facial accuracy the uh, head scalp accuracy okay that's basically on the head scalp on the uh, body itself so your standard usual bodies from uh, Hawk Eyes, uh, but the shirt itself. Oh, okay. The shirt itself, the material is a bit different already. But one thing about the materials, right? You don't have problems, you know, doing a lot of uh, uh, styling with it or posing with it because the materials don't really break so easily. If you look at it, uh, apart from the even this one, right? It feels if if you can hear the sound. You know, it does. It's not. It's not. It's not really leathers. It's sort of like how do I put it? Uh? it feels like forms. You know, sort of like forms. This is cloth, uh, but a different kind of cloth. And this is also cloth. And uh, I think this is also cloth, so it won't easily wear off. Uh, the only part which you might have issue will be this part. Uh, this is actually leather. So these are the only part. But you don't really move this part so often. And this is also the same. But most likely what I will do is I will, I will just remove this one and uh, put this one on. Because uh, the reason I got this is because of Ronin and not because of hot eyes. So I'm going to put that on uh, later. And I'll show it to you guys how it looks like. Okay, let me try to see if I can remove the boots and show you guys or not. Okay, I can remove the boots. Wow, look at the boots accuracy. Uh, every single details of it is there. Can you see the words? Hot Toys Limited. <laughs> okay, the accuracy of the uh, the boot is actually very pretty high. When you look at the boots, uh, it's really, really in that details. Hiya, hiya. Okay. And uh, Hawk Eyes basically this round come with uh, more gold and black color concept. So if you look at it, it's gold color and black color concept. So this is actually pretty cool. 
Okay, this is how it looks like from the back. Okay. Yeah, this is actually quite safe. Yeah, I don't think you would wear off that easily, apart from this particular shirt. And then this is how the, the boot looks like. Okay. Let me go and do some posing with this particular guy and I will show you to you guys how it looks like after I pose to my favorite uh, pose and that will be what I keep in my display. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And before I continue, I would like to apologize for something. When I was trying to put the running figures together to the pose that I want, right, I realized that there's a missing samurai sword. Then I was like recalling the e-brochures provided by Hot Toys. There are some uh, samurai long sword available, but what I can see is only this short sword. But then I realized that I missed out one box. So there's additional box which is over here, which I placed inside the original box and never removed it. Then I realized one thing, hell, this guy got a lot of hands. So inside this box, right, there's additional three pairs of hands. So in totals, right, excluding the given pairs of hands come together with the figures, there are additional five pairs of hands coming together with this uh, uh, hot eyes. So beside that, it will be that the sword holders and also the samurai sword, which I already removed it. I will be showing you guys in a short while. So let's look at this one. I think I didn't mention this earlier. So these are all the individual arrow component that you can actually put on top of the arrows uh, to show in your display. But it's up to you how you want, which one you want to use. I'm not using any one of these because I'm not using the arrows. So I'm also not using this gun because I prefer the samurai long um, uh, sword, not gun, sorry. So moment of truth, this is how I do running. So if I if you look at Ronin, right? <laughs> I'm those kind of kiasu people where I want to display everything even though it's not really that story related. So I like the uh, samurai sword. I like the samurai sword porch or even compact or whatever. And I like the arrow. So what I did is this is how I this is how I display um, Ronin. Let me just show it to you guys. This is how I plan to put Ronin in my display. So let's turn a bit more to the back. This is how it looks like. You know, putting the sword or holding the sword, take, removing the sword from the back, and then this is how I do the front part. So. This is basically how I'm going to display Ronin in my display. Uh, we'll leave your comments. So, hope you guys like the video this round. And this is Mr. Ronin from Hot Toys. Okay, bye.